everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. I hope you're having a great day today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than some of the ones that I have done in the past. I want to show you how to use the Glowforge files. We've had a lot of questions um, about what the lines are and where can you use them? Can you use them in Cricut? Can you use them in Silhouette? And so hopefully today's video will answer a lot of those questions. I'm probably going to have to do it in two parts. And this one is we're going to be back and forth between the screen and me and the above camera. So I apologize if the video is a little bit jumpy. For today's video, I want to show you how to use or why we have the different lines in the laser files. If you have a laser machine, you know, I use Glowforge. I've also kind of played around with the software for a couple of others, but everything I design is for the Glowforge. So if you have a laser machine, this will show you how to use these lines. If you don't have a laser machine and you want to use the files in, say, your Cricut, Scan and Cut, Silhouette, I'm going to do another video and explain that. But you'll probably still want to see this video just so that you can understand the lines. So for today's video, I've just cut out a new file. This is this is actually the Leaning Ladder set, and it is for um, the 4th of July, for our patriotic. Just so that you know, when I cut all of my material out, I put that piece of tape across my pieces so that I can keep all of my pieces together. Um, you don't have to do this, it's just a little tip and I found that it works really well, especially if I'm doing a class or I'm going to mail these out, which I don't do very often, but it just keeps all of those pieces together. So this is, I will show you this a little bit later, but we're going to use the new patriotic one. I'm going to skip over to my screen now and I'm going to show you what your file is going to look like when you open it up. Right. I am in Illustrator. When you open up a um, Glowforge file or a laser file, it comes in some different formats. It will come in an AI, which is Adobe Illustrator. It will come as an SVG file. It will come as a PDF file that is edible. And it will also come with a PDF that has cutting guides. And that one is not edible. That's just to print. And then the final one is it comes in a DXF. The DXF file will work with Silhouette Beginner, which we're not, or excuse me, Silhouette Basic Edition, which we're not even going to get into in this video. And then um, depending on which software you use, you will either use an AI file, a PDF file, or an SVG file. Almost all digital laser machines take the SVG, which is what Glowforge looks like. But I'm going to open this up first in Illustrator so that you can see what it's going to look like. So as you'll notice in here, there are no fill colors with the exception of this blue. Um, let, me, let me go back just a little bit. Every laser is going to cut lines differently or read lines differently. So you will need to read your instructions or your manual for your particular laser cutter. That being said, with all of my files, my lines are always the same and they're very easy to change in a different um, software if you need to. So. Over here, and it's really hard to see, all of my files have this little cutting guide. I put it off of the mat so that you don't have to worry about cutting that or deleting it when you're into your software, which I'll show you here in just a minute. So the first thing says black is cut. So all of these black lines are going to cut. The next one says red is score. That is for all of these lines, which I will show you in a minute what the difference is. Blue is filled in. There's no outline on it. It's filled in, and that means engrave. And then I have added a 
third or fourth one to mine and that is green and it is optional what that is is if you were to do a um, like a sign sometimes it'll come with both holes to hang it or a stand if you want to um, display it set it on your mantle or whatever and so those pieces would be in green and then that just lets you decide if you want to cut them or delete them from your file or ignore them whatever you want to do and not all files have all four lines it's okay the other thing that you'll need to know that's very important especially with the Glowforge is if your lines or your images are filled in with color then the Glowforge wants to engrave those and so all of these other pieces there's no color fill on them. If you were to open them up in Cricut, they're going to open up in black because there's no fill so that this that Glowforge will know not to engrave them. Does that make sense? Okay, let me show you now what those different lines do. All right, back to the wood. So this is my, if you can see this, I decided this might be easier than doing the overhead camera. This is one of the little signs that goes in the leaning ladder uh, frame. So your cut lines that I showed you, and those will be in black, cut the outside of your sign. It's also going to cut out the little shapes. So the heart is actually cut out right out in the middle of my United States. And then you can paint this one color and this another color. That is what the cut lines do, is it cuts it completely through the wood and then gives you your shapes. So the score lines are a little bit different. The score lines are a very light cutting through the wood. They're not very deep and they're used for a couple of different things. On this piece it is used for um, to make it look like it the sign has shiplap. So when I would paint it, I would paint it and then take a toothpick or whatever and cut out or make sure there's no paint in those lines to give it a shiplap look. The other thing that, that will do is, where's my other one? is it gives it a line placement. So these where it says fireworks and freedom, that is just a line placement. Again, it's a score line. It's very, very thin, but when it's all painted, then you'll know where to lay out your letters. And that's what that does. Again, these would be red lines. The last one is that um, engrave, sorry, and that is this darker. So where it says and, that is in actually engraved into the wood and it's a deeper cut. It has a little bit of a burn mark around it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And that's what engraved does. That is your fill color. So that is why the SVG files don't have any fill in them is because if I were to fill this block in it would want to engrave that whole thing which is not necessary just the word and so sometimes there might be a shape that's engraved or there might be a word that's engraved another example of that is yes, I'm doing these for Mother's Day, spring, whatever. Um, the, the frame is actually cut out of wood, but the inside piece is acrylic. And this flower right here is actually engraved in the acrylic. So if you opened up this file, the frames would be in the black lines. The a Mother's Love down here would be in your red, your scored lines, because that's just scored in there. And then this, the flower, would be filled in with blue because it is an engraved image. I hope that helps a little bit. Let's flip over one more time to my screen and I'm going to show you what it looks like in the Glowforge um, software. Okay, this is what your Glowforge software looks like. You have to be hooked up to the internet in, in order to, um, to use it. It's, it's on your web browser. There's not software that you download to your computer. It's actually on the internet. So you would go to app.glowforge.com and you have to have an account and you cannot sign up for an account until you purchase a machine. So if you don't have a Glowforge, um, this part of the video may not 
be of interest to you but I wanted to go ahead and show it to you for those of you who do own it or are interested in purchasing one so the first thing you would do is you're going to come to this page and it's under your dashboard and we would need to upload our um, file so I've got it right over here because I had uploaded uploaded it earlier but I'm going to go ahead and do it again just to show you so go to upload and then you're going to um, navigate to wherever it is I should have had this ready and this is the fireworks and freedom and there's my SVG file so I'm going to go ahead and click on it it's going to tell me that it's processing that it's preparing it and getting it ready to open up so what it does while that's doing that is it just um, puts it into layers and the layers are over here on the left hand side I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see it I know this is really hard to see because it's on a dark screen but hopefully it will um, it'll make sense to you so right here again are all of my images or my cut line information and they are not on the screen they're not going to cut the first thing that you would do is right here where it says unknown you would click on that and you're going to choose the material that you're going to cut from almost all of mine are done on the medium draft board that is the 1 8 inch MDF so I'm going to go ahead and click OK and then the next thing you'll want to do is make sure that everything is actually on that wood piece and you'll have to put a piece of wood in your Glowforge so that um, you can see it. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but that is a picture of my wood that I'm going to cut on. Next, we're going to start going through these layers. So the first one is the one that says engrave, and I have Glowforge chosen here because that's the um, material that I'm using. Is that's another video and I want this to be engraved and it says that it is it's because it's reading it with that fill color it already knows that it needs to be engraved the next one is the cut and you'll notice that all of those red or black lines are showing up they show up as red but they're that it's all of the black lines and it knows to go ahead and cut them so I'm going to leave it on cut sometimes it will put images on a separate layer which it did this time as well um, and so these are my little images and they again say cut which is exactly what we want there's our green that says optional I don't have any holes on this I don't have any um, stands on this one because of that there's no green lines showing up but if there were all you would do is go ahead and hit ignore simple as that this last one says cut again but it is my red lines that I want scored so you'll notice it's um, the ones that are highlighted it's those lines that I want to do the ship lap in it's my letters and those are placement lines so I'm gonna go ahead and select score then all I would do is I would come over here it says it's ready to print I would hit my print button I'm not going to because I've already cut this out I don't want to cut it out again and then um, another window would pop up over on this side and it would tell you to go ahead and hit your print button a laser is actually called printing we always call it cut but it's actually called printing and this window would pop open it would say print you hit the print button on your machine and go ahead and cut it out I thank you for joining me today I hope that made sense I hope that answered some of your questions I am going to do as uh, two more videos one on how to open up your file in silhouette and one on how to open it up in Cricut if you wanted the shapes but you're not going to use them with wood so I hope you'll join me for those two videos please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos give me a thumbs up and have a great day